G'day, it's Bobby, and uh, Saturday morning, it's about 11 o'clock, and I'm uh, outside a uh, Cycles Galleria in, uh, in Docklands, Melbourne, and uh, I'm actually going to, well, they've agreed to allow me to borrow one of their bikes, uh, it's a Cannondale e-bike I'm going to ride today, I'll give you the details when I get on it, but uh, it'll be fun, I'll take you on a little journey, and uh, shouldn't take long, see ya. And uh, so, back from the bike store, I've been for a really good ride for probably uh, half an hour. And uh, I've got a good feel for this bike now. It's the uh, the Cannondale Treadwell Neo e-bike they produce. And um, it is what it is. It's not a bad bike, actually. It's a, uh, it's a rear drive. I'm going to take you through the specs. I'll give you a look at the bike. Um up close first and then I'll run through it from front to back but let's just have a look at the bike first we've got the backdrop today actually just so you can see I'm at Docklands and you're now looking over the Marvel Stadium obviously and um, the Docklands beautiful apartments along the uh, the Esplanade there and you've got um, the city the CBD of Melbourne which is just magnificent and as I swing further around you can see the other side of Docklands the middle middle dock and the further one beyond but uh, it's just um, just a magnificent place in here although it can get very blowy and windy anyway back to the bike so here we are with the bike have a look at it um, up close you can see it's got a beautiful glossy paint job um, that logo I've ridden bikes for a while and that logo that Cannondale writing and logo means so much to a cyclist it means so much Cannondale is such a good producer of, of bikes um, all sorts of bikes, road bikes um, uh, you know mountain bikes they've just really uh, got a tremendous name in fact the mountain bikes they make one with a, a single fork at the front it's just fa fantastic um, but uh, have a look at the bike there just up close mud guards that uh, looks fantastic tires look at the tires okay gives you a good uh, gives you a good look at it doesn't it Okay, so that's that's a good look at the bike. Good look at the bike, isn't it? I, I want to say something. It hasn't got a dashboard. And I thought, you know, what's the story there? But it's all about um, actually adapting and setting up your phone onto your, uh, your fork here, onto your handlebars, and uh, then linking your phone, tethering your phone with, um, with the bike system. Um, which you download the app and uh, it all happens it actually does everything through your phone so it's quite uh, quite modern really high tech up to date and it'll, it'll be great but I haven't had the chance to work that functionality of it unfortunately all I've had to do is really ride the bike and uh, it gives you a good idea though of how it rides but I'm going to tell you it sits uh, and rides really well it's very very light I'm going to stand you up. I'm just going to run through. Hope you can see the background because I love the background. If there's any any um, overseas uh, people looking at this video, you've got to come to Melbourne and have a look around this city. It's just fantastic. As soon as COVID's over, of course. But the bike, the bike's beautiful, beautiful ride. It's so um, it's so light for a. Uh, it's the lightest e-bike I've actually got on so far, it's quite light. Have a look at the weights and specs online um, on the Cannondale uh, site and it'll give you an idea but it, it's very light. Uh, it'll give you the weight. Uh, okay, let's, let's take you through from, from front to back. Right, right at the front we've got uh, beautiful tyres, they're the, uh, the Maxxis tyres. And uh, they're, they're, uh, they're really good tyres. They've got tremendous grip on them. I'm going to take you over now. 
and uh, you can see the grip it's uh, it's quite a fantastic grip on the tires and they're quite wide uh, the tires are actually uh, 650 by 47 and they've got a maximum PSI rating of 65 so don't blow them up any more than that You've, you can see here the Tektro uh, brakes they're the hydraulic brakes and uh, they're really nice you've got the front disc here they're a nice solid disc the circumference is not as big as some that I've um, that I've ridden but uh, they're still a beautiful disc uh, so that's the brakes front and front and back obviously um, the back ones you can see so the Tektro they're the R160 and uh, they're a nice braking system obviously uh, I used them when I was riding it and uh, they pull you up beautiful softly and uh, they're really a nice brake system this uh, this carry carry tray at the front here is absolutely fantastic it looks so the welds and the structure of it looks so solid that uh, I think gee you know what a, what a fantastic thing to be able to take to the market and carry home whatever you buy at the shopping it's maximum it's 10 kilos but it looks like it's built to take a lot more than that but anyway it's 10 kilos you've got front lights here those front lights synchronize with the battery so you turn it on the lights come on so you've got front really good front and back a uh, back light they, they uh, they're great okay you've got all the hidden um wirings which is uh really uh, most of them have that and it's handy uh, they don't get in the way um, which is good here's your on off button of the uh the bike itself so hold that down and then you can go through the three different modes of of um speed of assistance um so that's uh, that's good this sort of you know a slow sp a slow help medium and a fast uh, so it's a a good system inside this tube here is the battery now you can't get the battery out unless you take off the fitting below and drag the battery out below uh, so this thing is meant to be powered up from this point here so you open up that rubber connection there and that's how you repower the battery um, which is fine and it powers I believe in five hours again get online have a look at the specs you can see the glossy paintwork the welds are pretty good pretty good I mean you can see the pricing here four thousand seven hundred and ninety nine so it's four four thousand eight hundred dollars so it's not a cheap bike um, and you know for a mid drive that's that's at the expensive end of the mid drive uh, sorry of the uh, rear hub drives uh, it's normally a, a mid drive's going to cost you that sort of money but this bike's pretty well put together and it's a, uh, a rear hub drive so you know that's a more expensive end for the rear hub now the rear hub i believe it's a it's a it's called mule and it's uh it's actually they're made in um in spain and uh they're a very high tech company they look at uh they produce a lot of automotive stuff so they're a, they're a very good company so you'd expect this uh, motor to be very very good and long lasting and I've got to tell you, to ride it, it felt great. I've got a mid-drive e-bike I ride, um, but you know this um, this mid-drive thing, it didn't feel uh, heavy at the back. It, it felt really good to ride. Um, and the assistance, uh, it felt good. It felt really good. There's certainly there's no noise at all. You couldn't hear any noise like you can from the mid-drive. Um, anyway moving back through the pedals are good a nice grip on the pedals a great stand um, the stand can get in the way of of the pedal if it's in the wrong position when you put it up something to be wary of I'm, I'm riding the medium size which was perfect for my height uh, here you've got the you've got a seat that is actually um, got a bit of spring in it so it's a suspended seat and uh, it's a good seat the lights attached to the back of it but I, I know on 
let's see for, as I said, about uh, an hour, and uh, it got a little bit firm on the bum. So, uh, I don't know, you might want to consider, if you're doing a lot of riding, you might want to consider a seat that's uh, got a, lip, got a little bit more gel and a little bit more cushioning. <coughs> but it was fine for what I did. Uh, yeah, it's a nine speed uh, gearing here. Uh, nicely changed by the manual um, gearing up and down here. And you can see the, the gearing, the ACERA. Uh, gearing here is nine speed. Uh, you've got the normal sort of bell. Uh, let's have a look at the Alivio. Um, is the rear derailleur. You got reflectors. So yeah, it's a nice, got a nice sound. Again, it's hit that. Uh, I can't spin the wheel around anymore. The cog. Of the crank, the wheel cranks because the stand's in the way. Um, okay, beautiful uh, mud guards, they're an alloy and they're nice, they uh, they travel the, 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 the sort of the shape of the wheels, which is really nice and they'll prevent any sort of mud and slop getting over you. They're front and back, of course, and you've got a, that great grippy tyre, and the tyres are wide. So and they take a lot of the pressure out. You know, this is a um, this is not a suspended fork exercise. It's stiff forks. I don't mind it. I, I've read some somewhere if you do a lot of commuting, you need um, suspended forks. Now I don't agree with that. I've ridden a, a bike with fixed forks in there to work uh, for you know four or five years, and uh, you know that'd be over 160k a week, and it's fine. It's great. Um, and if you've got good tyres like they are on this, where they're, they're big, they take up most of the uh, bike path stuff. You don't, you don't need to overdo it with suspended forks. But if you get them good and well, anyway, that's the bike. You know, to pump them up, you need the uh, special. They're not a uh, something you can pump up at the um, gas station. You need your pump. So you need to carry a pump on you and tube. Always do that, always have a pack on the back. It's where you've got a spare pump and tube, just in case. But uh, look, that's a good bike. I rate it, a great bike shop. Cycles Galleria in Docklands, they're fantastic. Eve, Eva. There, she'll uh, she'll help you out. She's the uh, the manager of the shop. She's been fantastic, uh, allowing me to borrow the cycles and take them for a ride. Anyway, let's get on this bike and just see how it pedals. If you'll look at the lights, just so you can see the let's see how the lights function. See it with it on. So uh, the lighting system, they, they, uh, they're great. Okay, you've got all the hidden um, wirings, which is uh, really, uh, most of them have that and it's handy. Uh, they don't get in the way, um, which is good. Here's your on off button of the, uh, the bike itself. So hold that down and then you can go through the three different modes of, of um, speed, of assistance. Um, so that's uh, that's good. This sort of you know a slow sp a slow help, medium and a fast. Uh, so it's a a good system. Inside this tube here is the battery. Now you can't get the battery out unless you take off the fitting below and drag the battery out below. Uh, so this thing is meant to be powered up from this point here. So you open up that rubber connection there, and that's how you repower the battery. Um, which is fine and it powers I believe in five hours again get online have a look at the specs you can see the glossy paintwork the welds are pretty good pretty good 
I mean, you can see the pricing here, $4,799. So it's $4,800. So it's not a cheap bike. Um, and, you know, for a mid-drive, that's, that's at the expensive end of the mid-drive. Uh, sorry, of the uh, rear hub drives. Uh, it's normally a, a mid-drive going to cost you that sort of money. But this bike's pretty well put together. And it's a, uh, a rear hub drive, so... You know, that's a more expensive end for the rear hub. Now, the rear hub, I believe it's a, it's a, it's called Mule, and it's uh, it's actually they're made in um, in Spain, and uh, they're a very high tech company. They look at uh, they produce a lot of automotive stuff, so they're a, they're a very good company. So you'd expect this uh, motor to be very very good and long lasting. And I've got to tell you, to ride it, it felt great. I've got a mid-drive e-bike I ride, um, but you know this um, this mid-drive thing, it didn't feel uh, heavy at the back. It, it felt really good to ride. Um, and the assistance, uh, it felt good. It felt really good. There's certainly there's no noise at all. You couldn't hear any noise like you can from the mid-drive. Um, Anyway, moving back through, the pedals are good. A nice grip on the pedals, a great stand. Um, the stand can get in the way of, of the pedal if it's in the wrong position when you put it up. Something to be wary of. I'm, I'm riding the medium size, which was perfect for my height. Uh, here you've got the... You've got a seat that is actually... Um, got a bit of spring in it so it's a suspended seat and uh, that's a good seat the lights attached to the back of it but I made on that seat for as I said about uh, an hour and uh, it got a little bit firm on the bum so uh, I don't know you might want to consider if you're doing a lot of riding you might want to consider a seat that's uh, got a lip, put a little bit more gel and a little bit more cushioning. <coughs> but it was fine for what I did. Uh, yeah, it's a nine-speed uh, gearing here, uh, nicely changed by the manual um, gearing up and down here, and you can see the the gearing, the Acera. Uh, gearing here is nine speed. Uh, you've got the normal sort of bell. Uh, let's have a look at the Alivio. Um, is the rear derailleur. You've got reflectors. So yeah, it's a nice, got a nice sound. Again, it's hit that. Uh, I can't spin the wheel around anymore. The cog. Oh, the crank, the wheel cranks, because the stand's in the way. Um, okay, beautiful uh, mud guards. They're an alloy, and they're nice. They uh, they travel the, the 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 sort of the shape of the wheels, which is really nice, and they'll prevent any sort of mud and slop getting over you. They're front and back, of course, and you've got a, that great grippy tire, and the tires are wide. So, and they take a lot of the pressure out. You know, this is a um, this is not a suspended fork exercise. It's stiff forks. I don't mind it. I, I've read some somewhere. If you do a lot of commuting, you need um, suspended forks. Now, I don't agree with that. I've ridden a, a bike with fixed forks in there to work uh, for you know four or five years, and uh, you know that'd be over 160k a week, and it's fine. It's great. Um, and if you've got good tyres like they are on this, where they're, they're big, they take up most of the uh, bike path stuff. You don't, you don't need to overdo it with suspended forks. But if you get them good and well, anyway, that's the bike. You know, to pump them up, you need the uh, special. They're not a uh, something you can pump up at the um, gas station. You need your pump. So you need to carry a pump on you and tube. Always do that, always have a pack on the back. It's where you've got a spare 
pump and tube just in case but uh, look that's a good bike I rate it, a great bike shop, Cycles Galleria in Docklands, they're fantastic. Eve, Eva, there, she'll, uh, she'll help you out, she's the uh, the manager of the shop, she's been fantastic, uh, allowing me to borrow the cycles and take them for a ride. Anyway, let's get on this bike and just see how it pedals. Okay, so I want to take you for a bit of a ride, just uh, along the esplanade here so you can see it uh, the bike itself Quite a uh, nice, uh, nice bike to ride. It pushes you away. It's uh, quite fantastic to ride. See the Balti Bridge there now. So. You can hear the bike, it's a lot of sound. Take you down now to see if you can Well, I've got a bit of pace up then. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's nice, uh, nice bike to ride. You can see, you've got, to, you've got to test ride these things. If you're going to buy an e-bike, you must go and ride them. And ride a few of them. Get a feel of the hub drive to the mid-drive. I mean, this is a hub drive. Feels uh, rear hub. Feels fine to me. Anyway, we'll take this back to the store. Thanks for looking on. Please, uh, if you can, subscribe. And, uh, and press like if you thought the video was okay. See ya. for a bit of a ride on this, uh, this beautiful e-bike. CBD, Skyline, more of uh, Docklands, Esplanade.
turn back. Gee, what a great spot, eh? Melbourne. It's a good spot, good city.